Hi, third graders. Let's check our work for DLA day two. Today's Tuesday, week 34. Number one, in, numbers one and two are asking you to divide each word into syllables. So in this case, the first word is farmer, but this word has a suffix. So when we can't use our syllable splitting rule on this one because we have a base word and a suffix. So we need to make sure we keep that base word together and then we separate it after the suffix. So that is how you separate the word farmer into syllables. If you got that right, give yourself a star. Number two, we have a compound word, headquarters. So we're going to start with the first syllable being head, and then we hear quar, Q-U-A-R-T-E-R-S. And you'll see that this second syllable, or the second and third syllables follow that V-C-C-B pattern. So you're going to separate it between the R and the T. All right, if you got those right, go ahead and give yourself a star. Number three said, is the underlined word a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb? Her sister flew in from Nebraska yesterday at 435. So the underlying word is telling us what the subject, which is her sister, did. So this is an action word, and so that means that this word would be a verb. If you got that right, give yourself a star. Numbers four and five are correct these sentences. The United States of America has three branches of government. We're going to start with a capital, the United States, not of, we're not going to capitalize of, but we are going to capitalize America because of is not um, an important word in the title of, or the name of this country. The United States of America has three branches of government. It's just a statement, so we're going to put a period at the end, and this is what your sentence would look like when you write it correctly. All right, if you got that right, give yourself a star. The number five says, have you studied synonyms, antonyms, and homophones yet this year? So capital H. And then we're asking if we studied three things, synonyms, antonyms, and homophones. Since there's three things, we're going to put two commas, one after synonyms, one after antonyms. And then we're asking a question, so we're going to end this with a question mark. And your sentence looks like this. Have you studied synonyms, comma, antonyms, comma, and homophones yet this year? Question mark. All right, since number three is talking about her sister flew in from Nebraska, this would have to do with an airplane. So let's see your airplane. All right, there's mine. Let's see what yours looks like. Hopefully it's better than mine. Good job checking your work, third graders. We'll see you next time.